Good morning guys, out here at Spider MX in Wildwood, Florida. We have some factory help today from Mr. Jet Lawrence himself. Speaking of which, he's out there in a heated battle with our group two guys. He's gonna come by here in a second. Um, so today you guys will be able to see what the factory guys would teach, which maybe to your surprise, maybe not, is not any different from what I would teach, right? And how cool is this though? So he's just out there cruising around with these guys. That was pretty factory, actually. That that practice bike is so much nicer than my race bike. <laughs> difference with the feet having your feet drawn too far forward whatever it is is going to completely pull the rest of your body out of uh, position and you're just going to end up in a dangerous spot on the bike we want to always be on the balls of our feet what a, a lot of riders are guilty of are riding on their arches or their heels reason for that i think is it gives them kind of that access to the brake lever to the shift lever to kind of rotate in <laughs> rotate out that's lazy man's riding what riding on the, uh, the arch of your foot eliminates is all of that suspension travel that you would have had from your ankle, right? Next thing with the feet, I like to teach toes in just a little bit. Reason for that is you can look at my knees just right now. Toes go out where a lot of you guys ride. I can't touch my knees even if I wanted to. I know I'm bow-legged, but look at where Jet's kneecaps are aimed. He could think squeeze, squeeze, and actually that's a good point. So when he hinges and he absorbs, his knees are driving out even more. That Your knees should never break contact from the shroud of the motorcycle. So driving your toes in just a little bit, even just that much, is now driving his knees into the shroud. 90% of that grip strength is coming from our waist down. And we need to make sure that our feet are in the right spot so that'll allow our knees to do that. So this little exercise we're going to do is going to be based on our corners and what we just did before is standing. We we're allowed to sit in this one so you don't have to stand all the way through. But um, I don't know if, hey, did he go over like kind of sitting after the last bump? Okay, we'll basically stand all the way, stay on your pegs, on your feet, standing. I want you guys to stand all the way to here. 
and then start your seating transition. I'll, I think this is probably the best rut right now for you guys. It'll be a good one to look well, that's a nice curve. But yeah, I want you to hit this land standing strong and do not sit. If I catch one of you guys sitting before this, I'll put a spike on your seat so you wouldn't tell you that you can't sit. <laughs> I want you guys to sit until until the first start, until the rut starts. And then start your seating transition. And I want you guys to focus on not flipping the throttle because you guys are good enough with your throttle control. I want you guys to have this one motion of throttle. This is one motion. Sit. Just don't put the gas on hard. Just crack it on a little bit. And just ah. Oh, and you can slowly, once you get more comfortable, once you get out of the right, you can start to dial on. Not gas it, not clutch it. Just slightly turn it on. There's nothing crazy because you can get on the gas slightly here and then or you can get on the gas hard there. Kale, right? Yep. Dude, are you ready for today's class? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah? Are you winning? Are you learning? Or what are we doing today? Trying both. <laughs> yeah? How's the track? Pretty good. A little slick after they water it, but it's alright. Is this your first class with AJ? No. No? Nope. So you're a vet. You're a pro rider. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> alright, dude. Well, good luck out there. Alright, yeah. Thank you. working on turns right now, making sure that leg stays up. Yeah. Stays up, elbows are out and you're balanced. And, and this is a really good long rut for them to learn in right now. So they're, they're doing really good. But yeah, just trying to get your ruts dialed, your turns, and make sure everything's one motion and, um, and just drill basically. A lot of you guys were good at the start. And then this first bump here would upset you and make you, your front wheel hop out. But can you see how nice the starter rut is? Like the rut's really starting to curve over, but here, it hasn't really curved over like at the start. And it's because you hit this first bump and your body, you relax your body so your body's going back and taking pressure off your front wheel, which is straight away making the front wheel go light and going up the rut and out. So when you, one thing I always try to make sure, cause I, have, I do that problem also, sometimes I'm not, I, relax too much and my body weight drops back. So I want you guys to really make sure you keep that body forwards and make sure that front wheel stays in that rut the whole time. So that's really gonna help because the more better you get with that and more confident you get with your front wheel staying in that rut, the faster you can go because then you're gonna be more confident. It's the support's gonna hold you more because you're in the meat of the rut, not at the very top where it's loose. But besides that, everyone's good. You guys are sitting in the right spot. Yeah, a lot of your elbows were down, but most of you had them up. And I corrected most of you guys had them down. You corrected them straight away, which is really good. But no, I was really happy with you guys. A lot of you guys are hitting this rut really well. This is a very difficult rut to hit. It's a very long one and, and narrow. So, But no, I was really happy with you guys. You guys are really good then. All right, so on the topic of feet, because that was the last time you talked to me, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, on the topic of feet, we have Mr. Ryland here who's a high level rider. Um, and even at his point, it's, it's fixing the darn feet, right? I mean, yep. Show, okay, show the camera the bottom of your feet. And now to his... <laughs> Wait. His excuse is that these are old boots. Um, so he's started to learn to ride more here, but look at the wear. There should not be barely any wear here. I would just show you the bottom of my boots, but my boots are used from somebody else. <laughs> I only had these boots for a couple weeks, so we could see where whoever owned these boots were, was riding. Kind of a bit all over the place. If you saw my boots, the wear would be almost entirely right here in the balls of your feet. So even for a high level guy like him, it's getting him to scoot his feet back, work on that foot position. What we're gonna do next, this will be fun. This will actually be 
pretty funny to watch is we're gonna do one-handed races on the uh, turn track. One-handed races? It's not technically a race, but everyone goes out around the whole track at the same time. And then, at least on Tuesday, Jet and I just found ourselves in a battle the whole time, like weaving through people. Everyone's like stuffing each other. It's all sand and it's a low speed track. So if you do crash, it's super safe. Um, only reason I kind of call it a race over there, because if it was a hard pack setting, I'd be like, all right, guys, be careful. <laughs> so we're going to go do that. That'll be fun. And Wait, then. Who uh, won, though? You or Jet? Uh, undecided. I mean. Won. I was going faster, right? Yeah. Like I was catching him, but the the, the race never technically ended. We kind of just pulled <laughs> off. Uh, so we'll see what happens today, because Jet and I are really competitive. We keep doing all these different competitions. So I'll smoke him in one hand drill real quick. Nice. <laughs> oh, where's AJ? Huh? <laughs> what happened? He can't handle the heat. <laughs> Dude. What happened? I was getting freaking screwed. <laughs> hey, do you mind doing a quick like 10 lapper with me before we send group two out so it's just us? You started to get fast. I did. You're faster on like the straights here. I don't have the balls to go on gas. Are you go on gas? I'm like, yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who, these two are going to go out for a quick one. Who thinks Jet is going to win? Let's hear it. Yeah! Okay. How about AJ? Oh, at least I got a couple. All right. I think that was a maximum of three. We appreciate your honesty. I think that classifies that I won. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, I'm a little disappointed in my performance. How am I looking? Bald? Am I looking bald? Uh, typically I'm the one hand master. I have to admit, I think Tuesday I had a little bit of speed on Jet. Today he for sure had me. Uh, not happy. Yeah. Not yeah. Happy. What was not the happy. secret? Jet, come on. What was the secret? Big of balls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and instantly demonetized again. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think the, se the secret is that he, admittedly, unless he's, he's might be sandbagging us, he said that on Tuesday was his first time doing the one hand drill. So, is that true? 
I, I even I didn't even know like one hand drill was a thing really like I knew standing up was like for a whole lot not sitting was a drill thing I never one hand but I, I was pretty new to it but I think just because at my technique I'm pretty good with my balance I still I got kind of lucky with it so but yeah no disappointing different group what was going on i don't know you put me in the like <laughs> higher group i guess i may or may not have had something to do with that dude you're fast come on go fast all right yeah how was the one-handed drill it was good it's difficult you have to use your legs to do a lot of the gripping but i've arm pumping one arm now so. <laughs> one arm's good the other's yeah. not <laughs> nice all right well you're doing good out there man good job bothering me. So what, is this part of the race program here? Yeah, dude. It's like riding with it and it just gets all tangled up. <laughs> dude, so how's the class been going today? It's solid. Yeah, the, the ruts are sick and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Really fun working with Jet. He's uh, he's really uh, smooth on the bike, so I'm learning a lot today. Yeah, did he give you any specific pointers? Uh, he told me I couldn't hit the corner any better. Nice. So. <laughs> That's quite the compliment. Yeah, I might just load up and go home. That, now, that's so. it. GG. Done. <laughs> just get out of here. <laughs> On a scale of one to Florida, how sunburned are you? Oh, do I look sunburned? I just, well, I remember Sandlot. I'm still peeling from uh, Sandlot. <laughs> uh, I, I must say, I've been very responsible when it comes to sunscreen application. Other than, can you guys see that? This isn't a. I've gotten cold sores before. This is just straight up. My lips got so burnt in Arizona last week teaching a class. I had sunscreen everywhere, but I didn't put like SPF on my lips. My lips were just ripped open. No fun. But now I have sunscreen on my lips, sunscreen, I'm, I should be good. We're safe. Mackenzie on the other hand. It's, um, it's really hard being AJ. It's really, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know like if, if I could make it through the trials and tribulations. He just, it's just every day the battle. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But you need to understand that there's two ways to do it. We have soaking up and scrubbing. We have preloading and seat bouncing. What we're going to talk about today is soaking up and scrubbing, which for pretty much everybody here is what you're going to use 99.9% .9 of the time. It is absorbing the obstacle, getting the wheels to the ground, and just trying to push through. When you watch Jet do his moto, it's exactly what he was doing on every jump. But he has progressed to a point, obviously, where now he's starting to deflect the rebound of the bike horizontally as opposed to vertically so that he can stay even lower. Like a lot of you guys, last time I seen, you'd hit the up ramp like this, and then stay there. And because you're locked in, you just get booted straight, sorry, like you get booted straight over. Where you can start like this, but when you come up to, up the up ramp, I kind of like, because my legs, when I hit a jump, my legs are locked. Because I want the suspension to do the soaking, not my legs. Because your suspension is going to be a lot more consistent than muscle memory with your legs. So, I so normally lock stay my legs. locked in position. So, stay this, to be honest, from to your knees down, that doesn't really move much. It's more here. So, you kind of stay more central, a little down, going to the jump, and then you kind of go like, I guess at the top, you would back off a little bit with your upper body, not so down. So, then if you do get a kick, you can easily move back or if you go as high you can move forward so they keep the front down so it's a lot more easy to uh how would you say like correct correct it like kind of thing so going to work jumps so i got group two uh which is the scary group they should be fine i think i just overthink it sometimes and i get nervous for my students i just don't ever want to see anybody get hurt jumping is also a very very difficult thing to teach i think technically and i i, I do a good job of explaining the fundamentals of it, but a lot of jumping is mental. I don't know if I said that. Did I say that in the Sandlot video? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> Did I bit. say literally the same exact thing probably? <laughs> um, true. So uh, for, for me as a teacher, a lot of it is trying to just give the students the confidence mm -hmm. to feel like they can commit, right? 
Um, and luckily for group two, we picked a jump that is fairly forgiving where I think they can jump to that halfway mark a few times. And then uh, we'll see, just gotta keep everybody safe. And you're doing a good job of walking backwards. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> I haven't died yet. Oh, wait, by the way, oh. uh, shout out to Ryan who's filming this. Cam is not filming this video. This is Ryan <laughs> filming this video. Cam got a lot of credit for the last one and Ryan did such a good job. I felt bad because I no. forgot to give you a shout out. <laughs> What is your channel so I can say it? Uh, should I show my face sure. in this video? Sure. Uh, my name Ryan Harris. For those of you that are RC racers, you probably know who this is, and that's kind of cool. But if you don't, I race toy cars, and it's pretty neat. And then your channel is what? I'll Just link it below. Ryan Harris. Ryan Harris. RC, you'll find it. Easy enough. Are you gonna rip it? Are you winning or learning today? We're learning. We're not winning. We're slowing <laughs> down and we're learning. All right, man. Good luck out there. I will. Thanks. The biggest struggle from collectively everybody in this group was the way you were absorbing the impact of the landing. Group A and Group B were struggling with the same thing. Make sure that we're gripping it like crazy with our knees and that the knees, when you land, this is key, when you land, your knees cannot drive in front of the foot pegs. That's ultimately what's gonna give you the most control. So take that when you go work the section with Jet. Remember how to land, it's the same way you would take off. Heels drop, knees stay back. I don't care if you're on a 50 or a 450. It's the same movement. Make sure you just go, okay, just, just learn from that, all right? That's what life's about. You make mistakes and you learn from it, okay? But hey, don't beat yourself up about it. I thought you were going to say Okay, I made a mistake. It's fine, all right? Just make, okay, next time I do it, I just make sure I don't do that as much. Hey, do you want to sit on my bike with me, bud? There you go. There you go. <laughs> bit today dude how was the class today it's pretty sick amazing yeah what'd you work on today um keep my foot on the pegs and not dragging through dragging my brake through the ruts okay um, how did it go did you get any good pointers from jet yeah yeah um keep my feet foot high and uh high and tight when i do put my leg out nice. in the rut nice all right you're gonna definitely come back to another class for aj oh yeah definitely nice dude good job out there thank you dude yeah, yeah this, this, you picked two, the slowest guy, dude. You picked squares. the slowest guy. Yo, so how was the class today? How class was amazing. Uh, got to pass Jet Lawrence, so pretty pretty cool. Life goals. Life goals, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, did you focus on anything today? Did you learn anything in particular? Um, I got to stop dragging my rear brake into the corners. So uh, one thing we've been working on huge to try and just flow the, make the track more flowy and open it up more. Sick. Dude, good job. Thank you. Hey, sit, bro. Okay. Come on, listen now. Yeah. All right, successful day. We survived. Jet improved dramatically. Yeah. Not his riding, his teaching. <laughs> uh, maybe his riding too. Who knows? 
Um, we'll try to get more of these going in the future. Um, from a guest instructor standpoint, like this dude is where it's at. So thank you, Jet. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe to uh, Mr. Ryan over here. To me. I'll put the link below. <laughs> subscribe to Jet. Yeah. I don't have a YouTube button. Subscribe to my Instagram, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Cool.